Hi, my name is Dave Harkness, and this is my wife, Lillian, Hi. and we are the owner operators of CIO, a 2020 Lagoon 50. Well, uh, a couple years ago, I mentioned to Lillian that I was thinking about retiring, getting ready to retire. And she said, well, if you think we're gonna sit around and play Fortnite and watch TV for the rest of our lives, that's just not gonna happen. So uh, I said, well, okay, well, how about this chartering thing? It would be a chance for us to get out on the water a little bit and also stay really busy, entertaining guests, taking care of the boat, you know, Lillian making uh, different dishes that she loves, and it would keep us active uh, in retirement. So from my perspective, we've had the opportunity to travel extensively and also the opportunity to stay in really, really nice hotels, uh, the Peninsula, the Four Seasons, uh, the Ritz, uh, and also other, you know, more boutique hotels. And one of the things that I always paid attention, what's the attention of, to detail, settings, dinners, and, and the, the customer service and interaction, I think that it certainly made it more pleasant when you had a connection. Even though if it was simple for that moment with the staff, you got better service, people enjoy this. We certainly enjoy ourselves better, and that's one of the things that we want to bring to the table and provide our customers. The industries that uh, we were in was IT, which doesn't sound very customer service oriented but in in reality it is because you always want to make sure that you deliver uh, what is asked of you and with high quality and you get the return service or the return customers which is is what we're looking for you know provide an experience that's going to make people want to come back uh, and visit with us again CIO that was my job title in my my last uh, 10 plus years of my career was C the letter C uh, I.O., which is Chief Information Officer. So naming the boat, our oldest son came up with the name uh, CIO, and we thought, hey, this is gonna be great. I don't even have to change my, my job title, and I get to keep going. I started uh, going out online and researching uh, other folks that might do this. And one of the very first uh, websites that I found was Catamaran Guru. And uh, Stephen and Estelle Cockrop, oh, they're, they're just uh, fantastic. They, they just run a great uh, site with unbelievable videos and information. And it really got me started. And so I, I wanted to reach out. I reached out. I had a couple conversations with Estelle. So Estelle invited me uh, down to the Miami Boat Show. I got to meet uh, Stephen and Estelle uh, while I was there. And then they connected uh, the various boat buying uh, methods that Dream Yacht Charter uh, brought to the table. So between Catamaran Guru, Dream Yacht Charter, Lagoon, it all kind of came together uh, for us to put this, put this dream together. Uh, and, and now we're entertaining guests. I love the, the livability of the boat. Um, it's got several, um, what I would call gathering areas. So this area that we're in right here, you know, we had six, eight of us uh, comfortably uh, sitting in here if you want to just sit in here and talk. It's got a similar area out back where you can easily entertain eight to ten people comfortably. You've got the deck where if, if you're sailing and moving from point A to point B, uh, you've got plenty of room up there. So I just, I, I love the living spaces and, and easy for people to just kind of sink into and be comfy. <laughs> uh, our goal is primarily to promote ourselves as a luxury charter and target adults. Yeah. And However. <laughs> you know, uh, you know the, the reality is though, is if there's, uh, you know, two adult couples and they have two kids, um, you know, we certainly have the water toys, we've got lots of things that'll, you know, the snorkeling and the paddle boarding, and we've got a really nice dinghy to do water sports behind. So we've got the ability uh, to entertain kids. I think we would probably stray away from young uh, children, um, just because it's, you know, it's, it's just the boat isn't set up with that as far as the activities. Um, but certainly uh, older kids, you get into, you know, teenagers and things like that, and we certainly would be more than happy to have them uh, and host them on board.
What I've done is selected some of my favorite foods that have pleased guests and families in the past using fresh ingredients. Uh, we are lived in the Midwest most of our lives. That's where we met. You know, a really good steak or cut of meat just prepare perfectly. It's very, one of my favorite things to do. However, being Mexican, what I bring also to to a good cut of meat is, is a complimentary sauce, you know, with a little bit of a kick to it, fresh tomatillos, fresh tomatoes. So I've kind of tried to do a little bit of blending of, of both cultures. As far as special requests, I'm open to that as well. Uh, with just a little bit of heads up so we can, uh, again, provide dishes that are gonna be beautiful to both to the eye and to the palate and please our guests. She's being very modest. She grew up in Mexico City, which has really <laughs> influenced uh, uh, her, her food uh, preparation. And it's, it's amazing, just great flavors. So our base is going to be uh, St. Thomas, um, but we would like to charter as well into the, the BVI. Um, and from there, you know, we, we love to find a quiet cove uh, where we can do some water sports and, and kind of relax. But we also want to, you know, expose our guests to more of uh, some of the on-land types of opportunities. There's some great beaches uh, that we great can explore, bars. some great bars, some <laughs> great restaurants, and there's some wonderful hiking opportunities. So it really is a combination of water as well as the land uh, opportunities um, that we see in the, in the Virgin Islands. Uh, we're very excited about launching CIO. It's a 2020 lagoon. We are really looking forward to hosting uh, guests and families and provide them with an experience that will be unforgettable and hopefully have them return back and, uh, and join us again and we're looking forward to sharing it with everyone. <laughs>